The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. I'm just glad Duke's out there tonight and not either the past two nights. We don't have the rain to deal with like yesterday. We don't have the smoke to deal with like we had before that. It's just staying nice and calm through this evening. Now I am going to zoom us in a little bit closer so you can see what we're looking at for rain closer to us. Mostly staying in West Virginia, little pieces making it over into the NRV, but a lot of that actually breaks up before it crosses the state line. So a lot of us are going to stay dry despite the cloud cover through the rest of the night. Now on the future tracker, a lot of us are looking at temperatures falling down into the 20s and 30s for our wind chill through tomorrow morning. We still have wind to deal with on top of our cool temperatures, so you're particularly going to notice it towards Blacksburg and Withville where you get down into the 20s. Not too many places registering in the teens early on Thursday, so that's some good news for us. Most of our lows on the low end are stuck around 30, so with that wind, it brings it down, but not to the point where it's a major problem further towards the north. And then after sunrise, things are going to get back towards normal. Highs should be back above 50, so we're not going to have too much to speak of in terms of wind chill through the afternoon. Most of our highs, again, mid 50s up into the low 60s. Lynchburg gets to 61, both Roanoke and Southside at 60 on Thanksgiving itself. Friday is a little bit cooler. Most of us end up in the 50s there. Lynchburg and Southside staying under the 60 mark, and we're going to see even cooler temperatures as we get towards Saturday. Now, looking back a little bit further, our rain from earlier on this week did a great job of helping a lot of us out, and especially in northern Bedford County, southern Rockbridge, where the Matt's Creek fire has been going on, added a lot of water onto there. Fire's not totally continuing yet, but getting closer to 60%. So that's some good news for us. And again, just so much of our region needed a lot of rain, especially right around where the heaviest rain fell. So this is getting us a lot closer to where we should be for average. We're at 2.31 inches for the month so far. Before this last rain, I think we were about at 0.08. So it itself brought a whole lot in well above what we had last month and getting us a lot closer to average. Now, given the rain over the next few days, I don't think we're actually going to get back to that average point, both Friday and Saturday's shower chance Chances are very, very light. Then going into Sunday and Monday, we're staying pretty dry. We don't have much wind to go with those days either. So if you want to spend some time outside, you've got a good opportunity. Tomorrow, the winds are going to be rather calm. There's some wind chill in the morning, but in the afternoon, it's not too bad. Friday's winds are really calm. Then on Saturday, there's not too much to go with those cooler temperatures. Overnight, we fall back down towards the 30s. Blacksburg at 34, Lynchburg at 36, and then warm pretty steadily up into the 60s for Thanksgiving itself. Now, there are some 50s here and there. Blacksburg 55, even Hot Springs at 48, but then plenty of 60s as you get further towards the east. Most of our temperatures on the extended forecast keep on falling through Saturday, but then rise up a little bit on Sunday. Steady cool down as we go through Wednesday, staying pretty dry, but we will be down to around 40 with some highs even in the 30s.